This is my hair. As you know, I've been on my Afro-Latina journey, my Lord of the Rings, Frodo, Baggins, Melon, and Poppin' Curls Everywhere lustrousness journey of 2020. As you may have seen in my last video, where my hair was seriously so short compared to now, yo, I thought my hair was so long then. It is crazy. <laughs> I've done various hairstyles to see what my hair was capable of, and I learned so much, but there was one thing I couldn't do. My mother would be disappointed. Braids, braids. I wanted braids, and I've been stuck with it. It's been stuck in my mind. My hair wasn't long enough, but now it is. So now I'm going to get it professionally braided. Now, before I dive into this video, I needed to learn the history and the significance of what it meant to put braids in someone's hair. There is African cultures that utilize braids to, as communication, as understanding, as a life path of realizing who you are and where you fit in the world. It is a beautiful history of significance that is not really known about. I didn't know any of this. Where even in the slave trade days, they use it as communication for survival. Seen in the history books about all the dehumanizing in the slave trade, wanting to cut off people's hair, wanting to force them through law to put headscarves on to hide their identity and to hide their culture further. And we see it to this day where kids have to cut off their dreads, cut off their hairstyles. So although this is a video of just me doing a hairstyle, it is so much more than that. It is honoring my ancestors, it is honoring the culture and keeping it alive and known. But I'm not gonna go at it alone. I'm gonna have someone with me that has dealt with braids before, that has dealt with my hair before, and will definitely not laugh at my pain. My girlfriend, Alina! Hey! <laughs> I'm getting my hair professionally braided this time. Uh, not that you're saying you're not no, professionally, you did a great job. <laughs> so what should I expect? I think this? you're gonna love it. I think your scalp might be a little bit tight, but for the most part, it's a protective hairstyle and it's amazing and I don't, can we redo this? We gotta keep it moving. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Well, it's a protective hairstyle and I have a lot to look forward to. Aren't you just blessed to have a man that's not balding oh anytime soon? Cut. Okay, all right, we're going now. Okay, we are here. It's natural. It's to me, I'm a hairstylist. Hey! Hello, natural. Hey. natural. What's up? My name is Tamia Wyckoff. I'm an assistant manager at It's Natural Salon. I love what I do. Um, I love to make people feel good about themselves. Something about a hairstyle just kind of changes your whole view of life. Today, I'm going to be giving Eli braids. They're gonna be nice braids too, because he has nice hair, nice big hair. So we're gonna do a shampoo uh, treatment first, and then we'll do a deep condition. Then I'm gonna blow dry him, comb him out, and then I'll section his hair off, and then I'll start braiding. And then I'm going to mold him down with neck strips and then stick him under the dryer for about five minutes and then he'll be good to go. Oh my God. Yes! Tamiya, you're like a Yoda with the hair game. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, what's good with it? Oh, I am loving this. I feel like I could put my glasses on real quick. Like, you gotta see, like, the texture, like, how it feels to the rows are so clean. I just love what this gave me, you know? I thought it was gonna hurt. To me, I crushed it, and it, was, it felt like a dream. Uh, I thought my head was gonna be too small, but I actually like how it looks. Um, I thought I was gonna be a little bald, but that ain't going nowhere yet, my friend. Uh, I ain't going nowhere. It makes me feel this new sense of confidence and excitement and it made me appreciate it as an art form which it is um i want to thank tamia i want to thank it's natural i want to thank bay uh for being there with me through the whole process so i was gonna cut my hair at the end of the year and after going through this journey and experiencing braids and seeing what i can do with it even further and understanding the cultural significance historical significance of it I'm not cutting this thing anytime soon. And I'm excited to see what else I could do with this thing. And I'm gonna be bringing my ancestors and my people with me while I do it. <laughs>